Oh my goodness. Good afternoon. Hello. Tweet the music slightly. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Welcome on in to a half three in the afternoon stream. I enjoyed streaming at this time so much during the game last weekend that I'm actually going to trial doing half three on some weekdays. The benefit of that is it doesn't actually overlap with any of my friends' streams and I can raid into them. Uh, or at least it overlaps just about the end. So Weird will start streaming at about half six and I can raid into Weird. So it seems like a really good slot. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. Um, either way, uh, it is a Wednesday. And uh, I wanted to finish uh, Nancy Drew Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Because uh, I couldn't leave that unfinished. Um, so we'll just even get that game polished up and finished today. I don't know how long that'll take me. Maybe it'll take me the full stream. Maybe it'll take me, it'll take me half a stream. In which case, I'll find something else to do. Um... I think it's a brilliant idea. Well, I am glad to see you here. Hello, hello, Burr, and hello, Itamar, and hello, Baker Doze. Welcome on in to the uh, stream. Uh, also, I have my music set up on a proper, like, music manager now, uh, which is really handy, because uh, I can, it's much easier than just using, clicking the files and clicking play. I was doing that before, and it was kind of annoying. Now I can just do a music manager, and it just automatically shuffles some different adventure game songs, and... Funnily enough, the first one that came up was a song from the game that I'm playing today. But, you know. Either way. Um, I'm in a plushie buying phase. I've been buying some Pokemon Nintendo plushies because it's childhood memories. Hey, why not? Go for it. It's Thursday in Australia. That checks out. 2.34. <laughs> a.m., I presume. Uh, well, hello, Ninja Zombie. Well, how are you enjoying the twilight hours of Australia currently? Um... Timely Pog. <laughs> Spent like $140 on Grotto Beasts. I don't understand what this... You sent me this thing on Grotto Beasts, and I, I saw the message, but I didn't have a look at it. Like, uh, what it is. I don't even know what Grotto Beasts is, Itamar. I, I don't know what you what the, what on earth you're talking about. Is, is this an... Is this... Oh, it's Treasure in the Royal Tower, this one. Okay. It's another Nancy Drew song, though. <clears throat> a card game. Okay. I don't know much about card games, to be fair. A, a new card game, ooh. Um, enjoying them drunkenly. Well, why not? Why not, eh? <clears throat> so, yes, today we're going to be finishing off Nancy Drew Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon, which we started during Game Blast. Um, I played that on the Saturday, um, and it was a really enjoyable time. I'm really enjoying playing through the Nancy Drew games at the moment. In my spare time, I'm currently on Secret of the Scarlet Hand, which is kind of kicking my ass a little bit. I don't know, I, the puzzles in that one are just kind of baffling me a little bit. Like, it's, I think it's more the fact that I have to do things in a certain order and I haven't exactly figured out the things I need to do in order to progress, like, the right way. So maybe that's the way these games are. But it is what it is. Um, oh wow, we're launching right into uh, the Monkey Island 4's Scumbar. Okay. That's the thing about shuffled music. It's sometimes just larger stuff at you. I need to I need to do a playthrough of, of Escape from Monkey Island soon for a video, don't I? I think I've been putting that off for too long. There's a lot of Escape from Monkey Island, which is great, but um, there's a lot that also isn't great. That's that's the weird thing about that game. It's a mixed bag. Uh, it, I'm looking forward to playing most of the game up until the point you get to Monkey Island. Uh, I think that's where the game knows dives. Uh, <laughs> We'll get there when we get there. It is the next Monkey Island video I have to make. I'm focusing on one video at a time at the moment. I've got this Legend Kyrandia 2 video coming, which I've edited a good chunk of. Um, but still, I, I still have quite a bit to go, so we'll get there. It's turning out quite nice. I wasn't sure about how this video was turning out at first, but it's turning out quite nice. Also, I realize I'm not even wearing my ring right now. Hold on. I just haven't put it on today. Ugh. Ugh. Ring. There we go. Now I can prove to all of you that I am engaged. Um, anyway, I I, I I feel like I've rambled enough. Um, I don't want to get into some anti Drew. Afternoon Drew. I have some tea. Um, it's a it's a um, it's an Assam tea, uh, which I'm really really enjoying. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna solve some mysteries. Oh, well, a mystery. A mystery of why a guy disappeared on a train. 
That's that's the the idea. So let's let's uh... see. The benefit of this music manager I've got now is when I click pause, it fades the music out automatically, which is really nice. It's a nice touch. It's it's Music B, by the way. I don't know how good Music B is, but that's the one that kept telling me. I just searched best music manager, and that one came up, and I was like, okay. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to use iTunes, so um, so yeah. Uh, also, oh, you know what? I forgot to mention. Oh my goodness! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I forgot to mention. It's my first stream since Game Blast. I got to mention how well we've done. That's not the right one. That's the right one. Um, this is where this is where we ended up. And I think the donation is still open. Like donation, uh, is, uh, the page is still open if you want to donate. Uh, hi, Clon, how are you doing? Uh, so we re reached five thousand five hundred and fifteen pounds in the end, which is nuts. We beat our our last score by three hundred pounds, which hell yeah. Um, and went an extra ten percent over where we expected to go, uh, which means everything has come out of the tombola. So you've got all that to look forward to. Um, and yeah, it's making me really look forward to what we're going to... It's just making me, yeah, made me look forward to next year. Because like, Game Blast 24, <laughs> we're, we're, we'll, uh, we're going to have to do something really special for that one, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll see when we get there. We've got all this stuff to... All, all these rewards to get through. Um, but before I start on my rewards, I've, I've been making plans, actually, to kind of get through all the stuff I need to get through from last year and this year's stuff. Um, figuring it out. Part of this sort of half three stream slot is, is kind of going to be about that. Um, because I feel like it's a good slot for it, and then you know, it, free, it makes my evenings free as well. I can mean, I can I do something in the afternoon, evenings are free, and I can kind of just like get a lot done. I feel like that works for me. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's where we currently are. Uh, if you still want to donate, you can still can right there, but that's up to you. You don't have to. Uh, I think it's open until the end of March. I believe, so don't quote me on that. You might have to ask Weird. Weird is the one that runs the page. You'll know when exactly it closes, but I think it's end of March. Uh, so, you know, if you want to give us even an even higher target to beat, it's there. The option is there, but there's obviously no pressure. I'm happy with the amount we've got right now. Um, either way, I'm going to switch over to this one. Um, as you can see, it's slightly different, the uh, the web positions and everything, but whatever. Um, Nancy Drew, last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I don't want to know about the GeForce experience. All oh, right. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives. Put the music up slightly because it seems to be quiet. Right. I. Which was the last one I did? Was it Thurston? Yeah, because Thurston was the name of the engineer, wasn't it? I should probably have titled it End of Stream so I knew which one it was, but I believe, yeah, this is what we just, just did. We had James Thurston. He was the name of the engineer who died. That's one of the things we wanted to find out. Um... We've got all this stuff as well. Right. <clears throat> and we have this letter that will explain things, so... First, you need the map. We've done that. To look at the map, you need my projector. Um... Okay, projector and the stone. That's what we need. So that's where we are. Let's have a look at our checklist. Tell Frank and join her, I know the name of the engineer. Okay, I've done that actually. Finish that. Finish that. Just check these off. Finish that. Uh huh. Finish that. Still need to do this, don't I? I haven't done that yet. Yeah. Finish that. Okay. I'm done with that. 
can't check that off so yet. So we have more slugs to find. So we can do this. Um, find out the four numbers. Find out the eagle. Okay, there's a lot to st still work on at the moment. But we need. To, let's go tell Frank and Joe about this. Hey, Peg, how's it going? Nancy, you missed it. Missed what? what? The argument of the century. Joe, he's exaggerating. Oh, come on. You heard him. They were ready to tear each other to shreds. Who? Charlena and Lori. All we heard was the tail end of it. And unfortunately, we really couldn't make out what they were saying. So you don't know what they were arguing about? No. But whatever it was, both of them were absolutely out of their minds livid. And it would probably be a good idea to find out why. Let me look into it. I'll talk to you later, okay? You know where okay, to find us. Okay, well. Back already? Um, I, I, I'm going to say I share some stuff as well. Balducci wants me to share everything I find out about Jake Hurley with him. I'll bet he does. He just doesn't want you to show him up <clears throat> again. Yeah, he wants you to do all the legwork so at the last minute, BAM! He can swoop in and grab all the credit. I wouldn't tell him a thing, Nance. Unless it's to get lost. I think I know the name of Jake Hurley's engineer. James Thurston. Great! What else do you know about him? Well, nothing. Good. Good? Yeah, finding out more about him will give us something to do. We'll look into it. All right. Thanks, guys. Tino found one of John Gray's thermometers by the emergency brake handle and is getting ready to throw the book at him. John Gray threw the emergency brake? Why would he do that? Tino thinks it's because John's TV show is in danger of being canceled. But when I asked John, he told me his show was just picked up by a broadcast network. I still say there's less to all this than meets the eye, if you get my drift. I get your drift, Joe. I have lived with your drift for years. I am saddled with your drift. <laughs> all right, all right. Wow. See you later. You know where to find us. I like these two. All right, let's ask about... More questions? What were you and Lori arguing about earlier today? Lori and I? We weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate, that's all. Were you discussing her wanting to be a romance novelist? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. I know that sounds harsh, but really, Nancy, eavesdropping is so tacky. I don't trust you. Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. They said I should talk to you before they gave me all the gory details, but since you obviously don't want to tell me your side of the story, I'll just have oh. to get the scoop from them. No, no, you don't have to do that. Nice move, Nancy. A storyline that Lori submitted to me found its way into my last book, despite the fact that she never received compensation for it. She's reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. You stole one of her ideas. Yeah, that's... You stole one of her ideas? She had no business sending me unsolicited material. But, technically, yes. Now, legally, she can't prove that's it. That's a bit shady. I'm certainly not about to admit anything. And it's not as if she needs the money. But that's what we were arguing about. For what it's worth, I'm going to talk to this producer I know to see if he'll cast Lori in his next movie. It'll help ease my conscience, and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is. Hey! Big does! Thank you for the $5 donation on top of uh, our lovely total there. Much appreciated. Uh, sound didn't come through because uh, you're, you donated in dollars. Again, we don't know why that happens. It seems to work fine for the buddies. They, they seem to get donation sounds come through when it's in a different currency. But for me and Weird and I think others, it just doesn't work. And I don't, I haven't figured out why. Either way, thank you so much. That's a generous little donation on top of like where we are. Like obviously we don't need to get any more, but any more helps um, like tremendously towards special effects. So, hey, why not? Why not? Very kind of you. I should get going. That would be nice. It gives us a higher total to beat next year, and that's that's I think that's the exciting thing more than anything. <laughs> right. I I think we need to find more gemstones. Um. Good afternoon, slaves. Good afternoon, Molagul. Hello, hello. Is he in here still? I just, I really want to play that piano, but he just will not go away. Hey, glad you stopped in. 
You gotta listen to this. What have you got? All right. I put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille showed up in that picture and turned it on so it would just keep recording. Now, when you play it back at normal volume, all you hear is background noise. Uh huh. But when you turn the volume way up and run the signal through a filter or two, oh, I know there's something else. Hear that? I hear something. It kind of sounds like a woman singing. Not just any woman. Camille. Camille. So be careful what you say in here. She's listening. Thanks for the chat. Come back anytime. All right. Well, that was enlightening. You got anything new to add? What's going on? How come you told me you and Lori never went out, and she told me you did? Don't you ever stop asking questions? I'm a detective. You know how it is. <sighs> My dumpster, okay? I'm not proud of what I did. I'm not happy about what I did. But it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. Spent so much money this last week. Besides game last, I bought a second-hand Blu-ray. Bought like a $70 box set of an anime I liked. Some new pants and a bunch of craft stuff. Hey, nice. Treat yourself, absolutely. I'm trying to think. The last thing I bought myself was an Auntie Drew book. Um, which I have up here. I'll, uh, I'll show you. I think I showed it on the last stream, but there you are. <laughs> I bought the, the first book because I was curious, and it was like only six pounds off Amazon, and I thought, why not? It's a nice thing to add to my shelf. I'm reading a lot of mysteries at the moment. Ugh. If you didn't want to dump her, why did you? You are incredibly irritating, you know that? <laughs> I dumped her because, because people said going out with her would make me look bad. Said she was a joke, that no one took her seriously. Said if I started hanging with her, no one would take me seriously. So I stopped calling. Oh. But you didn't stop caring. No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. Oh. Still don't feel like talking. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Balducci. I am sorry to bring up some old wounds there. I guess we'll uh, we'll do something else for now. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the this machine. So the next thing we need to open, actually, is this. I wonder if we can open it with what we've got. If I put like, no, hmm, not quite enough, huh? That's about as far as we can go. What's the number we need for that one, actually? Ooh. Where's my phone? I have a... F my phone has, has images of the clues I need. Oh, where did I leave it? Oh, it's here. Okay. <laughs> right. Also, if I don't respond, it's because I'm on a bus. A uh, bunch of noise in my headphones aren't off. Good. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so... So, 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 so. I took a picture of the, 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 the stitching thing. God, I've got other images now on my phone of um, stuff from Secret of the Scarlet Hand, which I'm currently playing in my off time. Um, okay. There it is. So that's like a sort of, it's like a tower or something? I can't exactly see. Maybe it'll be clearer on this image. Uh, in fact, I can't see it on this image. What is that meant to be? Oh, it's a bell. I think it's a bell, isn't it? Okay, so the bell is 12. Right, 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 right. Can we get to 12? Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. Mm. Right. can. It's entirely possible that we can, but, uh, 
Unfortunately, I think we need more slugs. See, I get close with 11. No. Let's go talk to Laurie. Since you had that argument, after all. Yes? Bye. I'll be waiting. Well, never mind then. I guess that was kind of a dead end. Um. What do we need to do? I'm done with that. I think maybe Tino through the emergency break. We need to ask about that. Can't stay mad at a fellow detective. Uh -huh. What do you need? You're the one who pulled that emergency brake, aren't you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> what are you joking? You stole one of John Gray's thermometers and planted it at the scene. You're just some teenage nobody. I don't have to listen to this. You're right, you don't. Neither do the other passengers. But unless you give me a good reason not to, I think I'll tell them anyway. Look. Maybe I was a little hasty, pointing a finger at the ghost guy like that. Maybe all those lies people have been spreading are starting to get to me. Maybe I thought it would help if I got a little positive press by solving a crime aboard a haunted train. Maybe I apologize. And, uh, maybe you can see fit not to let any of this go beyond this room? Well, maybe you're no kind of a jerk. Done, I guess. Great. Well, what else can I do for you? Thanks for your help. Anything for a fellow detective. Well, I guess we figured out who, uh, who threw the emergency brake. Check. I guess that's that. Oh, hello. I'm trying to think what I need to do right now. <clears throat> What's up? I won't keep you any longer. Pleasure talking to you. Maybe Frank and, uh, and Joe have something uh, about the engineer now. Quiet! <laughs> hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything out about Jake's engineer, that James Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. The good news is he had a wife in Copper Gorge, so he may have had children. The bad news is our internet service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell phones to find out anything else. That's okay. We can do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. Right. Oh. Oh. Are we making progress to the location? Colorado. Uh, right here we are. Okay, we've made it to a new place. That was hey an. Oh my Welcome god. Welcome to Buell's old time taffy house. Come on over here. Welcome, stranger. Listen, you by any chance get here on that private train? What's parked out yonder? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. There's a rumor going around that Charlena Purcell's on board. Is that true? As a matter of fact, yes, it is. Hot dang, if that don't beat all. I've read every single book that gal's ever written. Best writer what ever lived. Did she get off the train, too? I don't think so. She's pretty busy. Charlena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge, breathing the same air as me. Hot dang. Well, welcome, little missy. Go on in and take a I, gander uh... at what life was like during the heyday of Copper Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade saltwater taffy. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> now I'm looking at Sky, right? <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> the way it just... Okay, I don't like it just staring ahead silently at me. I dislike this thing on a primal level. Um... So this is some kind of museum? Why, it's the best kind of museum, sister. It's free. You can gape and gawk and ooh and ah to your heart's content. At least you can till I close up. 
slowly eyes focus on you, not Nancy. You kind of know. <laughs> as terrifying as Mr. Lloyd, but pretty disturbing. Yeah, it's it's definitely on the scale of like you know a cute mascot to Mr. Blobby. It's it's high up on the scale, but it's not quite there. Where'd all this stuff come from? Been in the family for years, for centuries. In oh, fact. the blue badger. True. See, Buell was my great great uncle. This building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawn brokering. So the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grub and tools and such. But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust. And there was Uncle Butte, stuck with a whole store full of junk. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris <clears throat> from lost lives and broken dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. So he passed it on to his kin. My great granddad is the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. Well then. And you make money by selling taffy? Tourists just love taffy. Especially when you dangle a free sample in front of them to get them hooked. <clears throat> of course, it ain't really free. Some taffy on a stick will cost you two tokens. Which you can get by winning both those games over there. Uh huh. Are they hard? Danged if I know. Come to think of it, I've never played them. But you're getting me off track here, Missy. Fact of the matter is, they're free. Unless you go messing with the artifacts I got in here. Artifacts? Do that, and you'll be head first in the nearest snowdrift before you know what hit you. Right. Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great-great-uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q... Don't touch. It was fun talking to you. Ditto, little missy. If I, I like to imagine that if you touch something without permission, you just get a cutscene of like the uh, where like the the mascot jump scares you and just like whoosh, and punches you in the face. I would love that. <laughs> That's what I want more than anything. <laughs> Five Nights at Copper Gorge. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear jump scare. Yeah, yeah. Yeti zing. Yeah, I know it's crossing. <laughs> Gold rush. Okay. What the hell is this? Oh, okay. We wanna. All right. We wanna get to the the thing. <laughs> Okay, that's bad. We don't want to, we don't want the purple ones, we want the yellow ones. Right, this is this is just like a This is just random chance, isn't it? No! He's getting away! No! This is going terribly. Idea to just spam it, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. No. This is rigged. I give up. There's, there's got to be a, another way to do this. Okay, this looks, this looks interesting. Start by doing one. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go. We'll have to choose a horse. Thirteen. That can't. Nothing could possibly go wrong if we choose thirteen. Come on! 
Go! Go, 13! Yeah! 13! <laughs> Alright, okay. That one went a lot better. 13 was the host to bet on. I don't know why I went with 13. I, just, I, just, I was just like... It, sh it should be an unlucky number, but... It feels right in this instance. This looks just like the insignia oh. I saw on the tree. I'll bet this was Jake's trunk. If this was his trunk, maybe the pickaxe and lamp that I need are inside. I see. Finish that. Mm -hmm. I'm done with that. I'm done with You still here? Do you know what's in that old trunk over there? Why? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Oh no, of course not. No, I just thought it might contain the lamp and pickaxe that I asked you about before. Well, if it does, you can forget about them, cause it's locked. None of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even <clears throat> my cousin Alvin, and he went to junior college. Of course, and that's where they teach unlocking. My water bottle just fell over. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's fine. <laughs> so it's never been opened? Not since whoever owned it left it here. I'd really like to see what's inside it. Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never use force, believe me. But in order to try to get it open, I would have to, you know, touch it. Nope, sorry, not gonna happen, little missy. Unless... Unless? Tell you what, you get Charlene a Purcell to come in here so as I can shake her hand, and I'll let you fiddle with that trunk till the cows come home. Uh... But Charlena is very busy. What if she won't come? Then I guess you'll just be out of luck. No, actually, you will be. Now, how do you figure that? Well, if you were to just meet her, you'd have nothing to show for it. Afterwards, she'd go her way and you go yours, and that would be it. But if you were to, say, get her autograph, well, then you'd have something to hang on the wall and brag about. Okay, make it so as I can meet her and get her autograph. Oh, but the thing is, she's on a deadline, and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Do you really want to risk ruining Charlena Purcell's career? Good heavens, of course not. All right, you just get me Charlena's autograph, and you got a deal. Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal like. You bet. And your name is? Fatima, with an F. None of that weirdo PH stuff. Okay, Fatima. Okay. I'll be right back. This is very unusual. What a strange place. You could genuinely make a good horror game out of this setting. Maybe they're like games you need to like keep running in order to stop like an animatronic. One of these from waking up. You know, I, that, that's just, it's just like perfect for it. All right. All right. Well, I guess we'll go, we'll talk to, uh... More questions? I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, really like your autograph. An autographed picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. Well, I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But what I don't have is a pen. You're a Usually writer and you don't have a pen? For one. Okay. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. See if you can borrow a pen from somebody. Right, okay. Well, it looks like uh, Frank and Joe are off doing something else. I guess we'll just uh, ask some other folks what they're up to. So much of the train is, like, is, is dormant now, so it's quiet. Just such a vastly different uh, atmosphere. You know? Do you have a pen? What's up? I really, really need a pen. Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. Well, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Come back anytime. It's the only I had to say was sorry. That's it. 
Did I go the wrong way? I did, didn't I? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have a pen? What's going on? Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pencil. Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. I'll tell you what, if you can play that Leapin' Lizards game I found over there and do better than I did when I played it, which shouldn't be that hard seeing as how smart you are, I'll give you a pen. What do you uh, say? All right. Sounds good to me. Okay, the object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. Uh, I'm like, what have I missed? Oh, well, not a lot so far. The train has stopped moving. Um, we just got a terrifying mascot. Um, and now I'm playing a lizard game to get a pen. So I can give the pen to the writer. So the writer can auto give a picture of her. So I can give it to the terrifying mascot in order to open a trunk. That's adventure games, baby. Right, so what the hell do you want me to do? Uh-huh. Okay. All oh, right, I see. I think I, well, I think I see. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I did it. Easy. I won. Talk about luck. Luck? Here's your pen. That's a baby game. Thanks for the pen, what else Bozo. Can I do for you? It's been great talking to you. Not a problem. Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? I got uh, it from Tino. You can one? keep it. If you could have it say to Fatima, that'd be great. With an F. With an F, not a PH. There you go. Okay, you got it. You got it. <clears throat> Anything else? I should get going. All right then. Nancy. Oh. oh, hey guys. There you are. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Guys, what's going on? Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner, comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. The thing is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out what? unless one of us fills in for a short Why was there a close-up? home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? 
cheeseburger. <laughs> Way to go, Way Frank. Way to go, Frank. Oh, and get this. Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's oh my mom God, that's so right funny. <laughs> so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumblebrain's going to find anything. <clears throat> Sounds like now might be a good time to do some serious Ooh. poking around on the train. Cheeseburger for the next one. I gotta, I gotta add that. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. What? <laughs> this man has a serious case of himbo brain. Got that autograph? Got something better? An autographed picture? Hot dang! She spelled my name right and everything. Go ahead, little missy. Have a go with that truck. Whatever's inside, it's all yours. Thank you so much. Cheeseburger. Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. Yes, it does. Oh, but what's the. It's a different lock on this one, presumably, right? Hmm, okay. And maybe we could try the. We could try the silver one again, but I don't know if that would help. I just have to go, I suppose. Uh, I'll have a look and see if I can remember what it was. Uh, actually, I, I, didn't I take a picture? Okay, silver is orange, blue, green, red, purple, yellow. So let's let's try that. If it doesn't work, then it means it'll be a different code. But, you know, it's good to try, I suppose. Orange. Blue. Green. Red, purple, yellow. That's a no. All right, so we need to find out the code for that, but at least we know what we need to do with that. Um, there's also uh, the case of the fact. There we go. Can we go into the diner yet? No. Right. Cheeseburger. Let's uh, talk to... So she's she's still there. Charlene Purcell is still there. Um, but presumably John Gray has gone investigating, which means we can finally do that piano thing. Which is great. Yes! Okay! Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Now, um, that's, 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 I need to take a picture of this, and then we'll, uh, we'll make sure we get everything sorted. Okay. So, um, right. So, Aha! A spyglass. I bet it's the one I need for Jake's projector. That's that's the that's the ticket. Let's go. Okay. I don't know if there's anything we can investigate around here. No. Okay. <clears throat> Tino is also gone. Carbide. Just what I need to make that lamp I found work. All right. We have the carbide. All right. Just need that pickaxe. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. A gemstone. I didn't even see that before. Okay. Wow. Progress. Uh, uh -huh. Jack, finish uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. I'm done with that. Jack, finish that. 
Finish that. I'm done with that. Uh huh. Find all the gemstones. Have we done that yet? Haven't done that yet. We still have more to find. So we need to find spyglass lamp, map, and pickaxe. Quick steal as well before he comes back. He probably carries it with him, unfortunately. Um. We need still need more slugs. Um. Okay, we've done I'm done that. with that. So I need to figure out the, the phone numbers on the uh, on the sleeping car. Hold on. Let's call Bess. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, Nance. Listen, I'm dying to know. What's it like to finally work with Frank and Joe Hardy? Cheeseburger. Oh, Bess, you're incorrigible. Hey, if you don't want to hear, just go over there and don't listen. She's listening. So what's it like? Just between you and me, I think Joe has a little crush on Lori. It figures. I thought you liked Joe. I've always thought he was cute. Personality-wise, Frank's more my type. Well, the real question is, which one does Nancy like? Ooh, yeah. Which one do you like? I have... Uh, Nancy... Uh, how dare you? I, I am with Ned Nickerson as Nancy Drew. Neither. I like Ned, remember? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Ned. Good old, dependable Ned. You think he's boring, don't you, Bess? You think I think he's boring? <laughs> hey, I think what you think is much more important than what I think. Translation? She thinks he's boring. Apparently, Tino and Lori went out a couple of times, but he broke it off. Why'd he break it off? Because everybody told him dating her would hurt his credibility. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's cool that Balducci lets other people tell him who to date? No, that the three of us know something that, like, maybe four other people in the whole country knows. You scooped the tabloids, Nancy. Bess, calm down. You're slopping paint all over the phone. Oh no, it still works, doesn't it? Hello? Nancy? You still there? Hello? Yes, Bess, I'm still here. Oh, thank goodness. So what other yummy things have you found out? Get this. It turns out that Tino Balducci pulled the emergency brake. Balducci did it? He framed John Gray so he could arrest him and get some positive press for himself. I think it finally dawned on him that he's not the great detective everyone thinks he is, and probably never will be. How pathetic can you get? Cute and pathetic. Just my type. If you like funky little museums, Copper Gorge has one that's right up your alley. What's in it? Stuff from the mining era of the 1880s, mostly. And taffy. Lots of saltwater taffy. Saltwater taffy? I love saltwater taffy. What were you doing in there? Looking for things that may have belonged to Jake Hurley. Did you find them? I found an old trunk that I'm pretty sure belonged to him. We'll get back in there and get it open. Did I mention the that song's I nice. Love yeah, it's a good soundtrack. Taffy? Gets the hint, Bess. Did I tell you what Frank Hardy is doing? Ooh, this sounds good. What? He's working undercover as a short order cook at the diner in Copper Gorge, where a grandson of Jake Hurley's engineer hangs out. Frank knows how to cook? He said he did. Frank is cute and he cooks? That does it. Which one of you wants to be my maid of honor? <clears throat> John Gray claims to have Camille's voice on tape. Really? Did you hear it? I heard a woman singing, but it was very faint. You heard an actual ghost? Bess, whatever I heard was barely audible. Don't say that. For all I know, it could have been a voice off the radio or something. Did the real Camille like to sing? The real Camille. According to Charlena, she did. Well, there you go. You heard a ghost. Oh, Bess, you are so gullible. Open-minded. Gullible. <laughs> Charlena and Lori had this big, huge argument, and you'll never guess why. Uh, Lori called Charlena a hack. No. Uh, Charlena called Lori an airhead. No. Um, Beth, she doesn't really want you to guess, okay? Tell us, Nan. Well, it seems that Lori sent Charlena a bunch of story ideas, one of which Charlena used in her latest book without telling or paying Lori. Charlena stole something Lori wrote? That's incredible. No, the fact that Lori wrote something that Charlena thought was worth stealing. That's what's incredible. It makes me think that Lori may not be quite as dumb as she looks. Yeah, better keep an eye on her, Nan. How about a hint? You bet. Okay, um... Yeah, let's, let's find out a bit, more, a bit more about this. There's a panel in the sleeping car that I'd like to open, but it's got a four-digit tumbler lock on it. 
How can I get it open? Maybe those four digits on the lock have something to do with the four words. Oh, the four words. Yeah, yeah. The mill had taken with her to her grave. But even after you figure out what they are, you're still going to have to translate them into numbers somehow. That sampler hanging in Camille's car translates images into numbers. So maybe what you need to find is something that translates words into images. Know what I'd do if I were you? I'd go to Camille's car and sample some reading material. You guys are geniuses. Tell that to my chemistry teacher. I'll keep you posted. Okay, we need Bye. to we need to visit Camille's grave for that. And can we do that? I don't know. Let's have a little find out, shall we? <clears throat> Yes? You startled me. Do you work here? I do. Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes. Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypt. Wonderful view. Good drainage. Whoever buried her must have loved her very much. May I go inside it? You may, but unfortunately you can't. Why not? I accidentally dropped the key down the grate that's in front of the crypt. If you can retrieve it, you can keep it. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember, you won't be alone. This is too weird for Dracula, I know, right? <laughs> crypt keeper sounding guy. Well, there's the key. I just need to find something that key will stick to. Mmm, okay. I'll never get that key at this rate. Do the old, um... In one of the Nancy Drew games, uh, the final scene, you stick a bit of chewing gum on an end, on the end of a, like, a, a magic wand, so you can pull it out. Um... So I'm thinking we might have to do something like that. Uh, so we'll have to... Oh, the taffy! That's why we need taffy! So we get the taffy, stick it as something, then we can get the key. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but we need to solve that other that other game first, right? That gives us something at least. Can't get in without a key. We always need taffy. Yeah. All right. Let's have a think about this. So we need two tokens to buy taffy, I think. Is that right? Taffy on a stick. Hey, oh, maybe I crap. could use this to my, push the My water bottle keeps falling over. Crate. I need to stop that. Uh, okay. Well, Nancy basically told the solution there. Uh, I figured it out myself, Nancy, before you told me. So, you know. Hmm. We don't need to stick it to anything though, we just need taffy on a stick. That's we just need the that item itself. Um so we have this, so we can uh, let's, let's just leave it for now. Once we get the other one, which I presume comes from this, how do we beat this? Because I played other Nantidu games, yeah, exactly. The thing about this what's so interesting about these particular like point and clicks is they have their own sort of like way of thinking of things. Uh, and once you click with the way that the Nancy Drew games think, then they become really, really enjoyable because you, you start to kind of operate on their level. Um, I kind of struggled with that with a little bit when because the first one I played was Curse of Blackmore Manor, which is very dense with puzzles. I don't think that's a, that's a good start to Nancy Drew game because because it's like, I feel like it's, a kind, it's the kind of Nancy Drew game that you kind of need to be familiar with Nancy Drew games in order to play very well. Um... I think if I replay Curse of Blackmore Manor now, I would have an absolute blast with it because I know how these games function. And I've played it before, so. Yeah. We were very lost. In yeah, for a good long while. But now I get these games. I understand them. All right.
This is bad. I can barely get it into any of the, uh... And any of the yellow ones that often. Although... I mean, he's still ahead. Yeah, he is still ahead. Machine. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, there has to be a trick to this, because it. That's, uh. That's Cold Bass again. Use your Hello? psychic Hi, powers, Bess. Hey, what's going on? Who Bess and George. You? I need to win that gold miner game in the taffy house, but I can't. Am I doing something wrong? No, you've just got to keep playing. Yeah, what the ball hits after it's launched is a matter of luck. Oh. It, and eventually the odds will turn in your favor. Excellent. You guys are great. We know. See ya. Great. The solution is keep trying. I hope you guys like this music. <laughs> We're going to let R and Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> if I were playing as Guyber Streetwood, I would be able to find a way to cheat this machine. But no, we have to be the Honorable Nancy Drew. I have never seen it go in the donkey. Not once. Did it even shoot that far? I know, right? It doesn't feel like it, it could reach. God! I have to bounce all the way over. Although presumably it must be a good a good bonus if you can get it. See, even the even if oh oh donkey donkey no, it almost got it almost went donkey. Don't go and see even with a lot of success, it's like it's very. It isn't. Damn it. Maybe try pulling the button before I let him go. Oh. Oh my god, you're so right. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Try and send it over that way because it's more likely to go into the donkey. I was doing something wrong, yeah. Okay. I'm getting it now. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. No! There we go. Thank you, all of them. That, uh, all of, all of them and Baron, you figured that out for me. <laughs> I was being silly and goofy, and I didn't realize that I was, that, that was wrong. Okay, let's get some taffy. All right. Looks like to get some taffy on a stick, I'm going to need two different tokens. Uh, one step ahead of you, Nance.
Let's go. Taffy on a stick. That was almost as stressful to watch as go fish. Nothing is more stressful than go fish. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Right. Go for the hardest of hardcore. That's right. Copper. Hmm, this indentation Copper. looks familiar. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <clears throat> so, what is the. Uh, what would the cartilage of copper be? Uh, we won't have that, will we? So we need to find out what the copper colors are, and then we can do something with that. Interesting. At the very least, we've made it some made some good progress. Oh, hold on. Wow. Okay. That gives us what we need. Oh my god, this music. I love the music in these games. It's it's just it's so good. Okay. So copper is um I want to say it's CU, isn't it? Zinc, lead, nickel, iron, silver, gold, tin and copper. Is that right? I think I think no, that's right. That's the those are the the metals that those are. <clears throat> Lead is as PB because it means plum bum. Right. So, copper was um, green, red, purple. Yellow, orange, blue. And of the gemstone. Oh, hey. We have quite a few now. But what are the... F where's the four words, then? In the letter he wrote to his niece, <clears throat> Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? If I am supposed to make rubbings of these pillars, I'll need a pencil, which I already have, and some nice thin paper. Hmm. I need something that'll help me make sense out of all those lines. Thin paper? Um... I don't know. The music in this area reminds me a lot of um, Gabriel Knight 2. Like the the music that plays when you're in um, in uh, in the castle in um, in the first uh, gray segment. I really want to replay those games on stream at some point. Okay. So if we can figure out actually what the box is made of, we should be able to open it as well. Unless it's, it's, it tells us specifically what it's made of on the box that I, I didn't see. Let's have a look. I need to match that shape. Yeah. I mean, we could try different ones, but I don't exactly know. Um, same guy did the music for these games, also did Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Hey, I didn't know that. That's nice. Let's have a look at our to do list. Finish that.
still have to do that. Is it is it lead? It's specifically pointing out the lead one. On my in my journal, so let's have a little look. Lead would be red, green, blue. Orange, yellow, purple. All right, that's it. Well, here's Jake's lamp. Another slug. And a Could slug. All but right, well. Where's his pickaxe? Hmm. Good question. Where is his pickaxe? At the very least, we've got a couple of important items we need now. Welcome back. Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that mm -hmm. had the initials J.H. carved into it? Why? Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley, and I really, really need it. I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? <laughs> Wait till I tell Cousin Alvin. He thinks he's so smart. As for that pickaxe, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Use a dope and the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Do you think I could have it? Why, no, you can't have it. How would I open them coconuts? Um... <clears throat> but your great-great-uncle, do you really think Buell would approve of you using something that belonged to some poor miner to open coconuts? Oh, okay. I'll let you have the pickaxe. After you do something for me. All right. Like what? I got a bunch of taffy over there what needs sorting. Just follow the directions that are posted by the machine. Okay. Them belts get moving pretty fast, so you gotta keep your wits about you. While you're doing that, I'll fetch that pickaxe. You got a deal. All right, I guess we're gonna organize some taffy. Where's that? Is it this? Is it in here? Taffy kitchen? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got banana, mango, strawberry, apple, blueberry, grape, and those are the rejects. Okay. It's a reject. Uh, apple. Reject. Uh, banana. Reject. Uh, grape. Is that a reject? Uh, I think it's strawberry. I don't know. Grape. Blueberry. Mango? Uh, blueberry. Mango. Mango. Strawberry. Reject. Blah, blah, blah. Blueberry. Grape. Strawberry. Strawberry. Blueberry. Strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. Okay, we did it. The strawberries are rejects. No, they're not, because they would have told me that they were wrong. Got that taffy sorted? No problem. That was easy. You sneak any freebies while you were at it? Oh, no. I would never do that. <laughs> well, ain't you the goody two-shoes? Truth is, wouldn't have minded too much if you had. Long as you fessed up to it. Here's the pickaxe. Oh. Crack the handle pretty bad on the last batch of coconuts. You sure <clears throat> you want it? Positive. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. I won't. Thank you. <laughs> Funny uh, minion banana. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> All right, we've, we've made a lot of progress. Hello? Hey, it's Frank. Hey, Frank. I'm in the kitchen of the diner playing short order cook. Has that grandchild of Jake's engineer showed up yet? Just came in with this lady who's even older than he is. And get this, he's a retired miner, so every time I finish an order and ring the pickup bell, he thinks it's the mine shaft elevator bell. And for some reason, it makes him start telling his lady friend about his grandfather. You mean you ring the bell and he starts talking about James Thurston? Exactly. Of course, five seconds later, he's rambling on about something totally unrelated, but I just fill an order, ring the bell, and ding, he picks up right where he left off. That is, unless I fill the order wrong and the waitress chews me out. She's got a voice like a chainsaw.
very distracting. Sounds like you better keep your ears open and your nose to the grindstone. I am. Just wanted to keep you posted. Well, good luck. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Oh, God. I, yeah, we have just buddies up with Frank. We are Frank now. And we are going to make burgers, apparently. Oh, God. Is that what we're doing? Uh, hi, Shadow. It's got stream while I have an early dinner. Nice. Well, I guess it's... Volcano burger. Onions, jalapenos, hot mustard, bacon, and cheese. Uh-huh. Jalapenos. Are these jalapenos? Those are pickles. No. Um, those are jalapenos. Um, hot mustard. Yeah. Uh, bacon. And cheese. That looks good. So do you know what you want to order yet, Edna? I'm still looking. Did I tell you that my granddaddy was the engineer on a private train owned by one of the richest men that ever passed through Copper Gorge? Cheeseburger. Jake Hurley was his name. Yes, sir, my granddaddy was Jake's private engineer for more than 25 years. Told my daddy that men don't come any crazier than Jake Hurley, or any nicer. Treated my granddaddy real well and told him stuff, real important stuff. Stuff he made my granddaddy swear to never, ever forget. Stuff that my granddaddy told my daddy, and that my daddy told me. Why don't you get the egg salad, Edna? Eggs are back to being good for you, you know. Seems like just last year all those scientific types were saying your arteries would clog up if you so much as looked at an egg. But nowadays, why all of a sudden eggs are chock full of vitamins and proteins, and eating them's not only okay, it's what they recommend. They should either make up their minds or keep their mouths shut. Make eating more pleasant, that's for sure. Okay. Well, that's good. A classic burger. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo, ketchup. Love it. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo, ketchup. That's... Okay. That'll do. Um, ding, ding. Yes, sir, Jake Hurley told my granddaddy things he never told another living soul. Not even his wife. I tell you about her, Edna? I don't think so. Camille was her name. Camille Boulet. That's French, you know. Of course, she died so young that poor Jake didn't have time to tell her anything. According to my granddaddy, one summer day she had a dizzy spell and fell and hit her head. She didn't take well to the heat, see? And sometimes in the summer, when they were going through the desert, why, that train would be just like an oven. Anyway, Granddad said she got right up afterwards and seemed okay. But a couple hours later, Jake found her in her room, dead as a doornail. Now, there's another expression that kind of makes you wonder. Dead as a doornail. How can something be dead if it was never alive to begin with? And why a doornail? Why not something else that begins with a D? Like dish rag or dust mop. Dead as a dust mop. That's kind of got a ring to it, don't you think? All right, so what else we got? We got a Hayashi burger. Is that what it says? Uh, avocado, tomato, fruit, jelly, pineapple, cheese, and mayo. That sounds very odd. But who knows? It could work. I don't know about the je fruit jelly. That's the part that makes me unsure about this one. Seems very sweet. I've seen burgers like that, actually. Yeah, I, I totally believe they exist, but it's like, I, I don't know if it would be my cup of tea. All right. The way my granddaddy died, that was kind of strange, too. I ever tell you how my granddaddy died? No, I don't think you did. My daddy, he came home from school one day to find a railroad official telling his mom that granddad had been found dead in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada. He was in the engine of Jake Hurley's train, just kind of slumped over with his hand still on the throttle. The strange thing is, nobody else was on board the train, yet the door to the engine was locked and barred. It was like Granddad was trying to keep someone out, like he was running from something, like something finally scared him so bad his heart just stopped. 
Of course, he was in his 60s at the time, and back then, that was old. <laughs> Doesn't seem so old now, does it, Edna? Here I am, pushing 93, and still spry as a spring chicken. Spring chicken! Now, where do you suppose that expression came from? Why not spring goose or summer chicken? Ah, life's just one puzzlement after another, isn't it, Edna? Goodness me. Um, a colossal burger. Everything minus the peas. Pickles, peanut butter, pineapple, and pickled herring. Okay. Everything minus the peas. Um, right, right. So lettuce, tomato, onion, bacon, cheese, uh, jalapenos, um, avocado, uh, jelly, mustard, catsup, mayo, Hot mustard. That's that's too much. That's that's a clash of flavors. That's going to be horrible. I ever tell you about the mine my granddaddy said Jake heard he'd found? He found a mine. A couple years before he died, Granddad told my daddy that Jake found a vein in the mountains somewhere and was mining it all by himself, so no one would steal it out from under him. He wouldn't even tell Granddad where the mine was. What he'd do? is have Granddad drive the train real slow so he could jump off without Granddad seeing him. Then Granddad would pick him up at a prearranged spot a few days later. Oh, they didn't call him Crazy Jay Curly for nothing. Speaking of crazy, you see how much Abner's charging for a haircut at that shop of his now? Twenty bucks! But what's even wow. crazier is people are actually paying him that. I told him the only way I'd pay him twenty bucks would be if I came in with hair down to my knees. He just laughed and said I was a crazy one. 20 bucks for a haircut? What is this world coming to? <laughs> so I took the train over to Morganville. That's what they called Shelbyville back in the day. <laughs> and we tied an onion to our belt, because that was the style at the time. <laughs> totally like an Abe Simpson character, isn't it? Uh, chef's choice. Chef's choice, okay. Type of burger I would go for. I would go. For, I would put on lettuce. I think lettuce is a good choice. Lettuce and tomato. I'm a tomato guy. Fine with that. Onion. Gotta have a bit of onion. Cheese. Pickles. Um, and I would add jalapenos to that. And spicy mustard. That seems perfect. But the craziest thing Jake Hurley ever did was tell Granddad the secret to finding his mine. He made him swear to tell it to my daddy and nobody else. Eventually, my daddy, he told me. And it was so bizarre that I remember it to this day. Though I sure don't understand how it has helped anybody find his mine. But since my daddy didn't tell me not to tell anybody, this is what crazy Jake Hurley told Granddad, word for word. The eye of the tiger is fixed on a Oh, star. here we go. Zircon lies in fingers that scuff. <clears throat> Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot <clears throat> of the mare. Well, the eye of well, the tiger well. is fixed on a star. Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Amethyst floats in a hand from the deep. Citrine is what the foul mouth shall keep. Oh man, got some Termaline buzz. by a soft arm is ensnared. Peridot rests at the foot of the mare. Frank, are you sure that's what he said? I'm positive. Okay. Are you sure that's all he said? Look, this guy was old, okay? I mean, we're talking Jurassic. And guys that old don't joke around. <laughs> they don't have time to. What you just heard is what I heard, word for word. Got anything else? I almost forgot. You gotta check this out. It's just an old letter, Frank. You bet it's an old letter. From Samuel Clemens. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Where did you get this? I found it in the caboose. Apparently he and Jake were pen pals. Wish I had a famous writer for a pen pal. When Joe gave it to me, I about flipped. I know I should turn it over to Lori, and I will, but it's just so darn 
cool. I still don't see what the big deal is. I mean, it's not like it's from Mark Twain or anything. What? <laughs> see you soon. Sounds good. Joe Hardy might be the funniest character, I think. Okay. How many gemstones do we have? I think we have five. So we're missing. <clears throat> so we have Tarmaline. We have the uh, Tiger Eye. We have, I think that's, I think that's Zircon. Um, that must be our Citrine. Wait, hold on. Uh, Amethyst. Which one are we missing then? Um, and like, how do I check? We still have that, those four words to find out. And I'm not entirely sure how to find them out. Although maybe we need to do some of those paper rubbings, because we need some thin paper. Maybe there's some... Oh, hello, John. What's up? I hear Tino took you and Lori for a little hike today. Don't remind me. Turns out Tino had no idea where he was going. Good thing for him, my fingers were frozen stiff. Otherwise, I would have strangled him. I won't keep you any longer. Take care. I see what type of stone it is if you look at it. I don't know if it does, but um, I think I can tell which one's a witch, roughly. So let's have a look at our um, gemstones and how to identify them. Book. So I think that's clearly the amethyst. Um, citrine. That's that's this one for sure. Tiger's eye. That's definitely uh, that one. Um, was it Zircon we needed, actually? Oops. Um, I think that one's the Zircon. I think. That's tourmaline is obvious because that's that's the uh, the green and pink one. Uh, which one was the other one was it? Peridot. Oh, hold on. Is that one the Peridot? That might be the Peridot, actually. Okay. So I think we need a, 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 a Zircon is the one we need. That's a yellow one. And that one's definitely green. Yeah, there's no way we can uh, actively identify them, is there? Unless, it, like, we, if we go to the caboose, or the, the back of the train, or whatever, yeah. I just remembered we have another one of these as well. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we need to reach 12. So we can get we can get to the eagle now, but we need to find the numbers. Um, I'm so not good at this particular puzzle; it's too mathy for my brain. Um, hold on, let's go up, get the right thing back. So okay. So for the the bell, it's the bell and the eagle. The bell we need twelve. The eagle, we need two. So we need to basically make... Oh, actually, we need to we need to make 12 with one of these off, don't we? Oh, we had, didn't we have 12 earlier? Uh, oh, I think we'll need the... Um, is that not right? Wait, wait, wait. I thought that was correct. Hmm. Unless that's not the bell. But it's got to be the bell. It is 12. It hasn't lit up. Alright, well, let's go for the... Let's go for the eagle, then. <clears throat> so, we need to... With the eagle, we need to make two. Man, 
minus five. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, so we need to use all those slugs. Yeah, because it's it's both weight based and number based. Um, so essentially, we need to make. I think it could be minus two as well, couldn't it? Come to think of it. I can get a three, but not. Mm. Right, right. I'm just shifting stuff around. Ah, um, <clears throat> okay. British education system. Hey, hey, hey. Think you can do better, huh? Tell me what to do then. <laughs> Cause I need to, I need to make plus two or minus two. And also have all the slugs on the on the scales. So ten. Or you just press down the scales with both hands. I mean, yeah, that'd be that'd be a, a nicer solution, wouldn't it? See that that should work for for twelve, but it doesn't light up. I don't know why. Get to three, um, and I get stuck. Is it time to cheat yet? No, 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 no. I guess we need to five. one getting either side of it but not quite there Instead of seven, hold on. Uh, I I don't know what, what, what setup did I have again. Like that.
Why did the lamps get lagging? I don't know. Lamps? All right, hold on. I'm going to shelve this one for the time being. You want to mine a hint? Go for it. Um, I just haven't figured out the exact configuration of this, I don't think. This is not my kind of puzzle. I'm missing a slug. Am I? Okay. Well, in that case, I will... You know what? We got we got some stuff to. If I had a lamp, this is where I'd put it. Okay, looks like that goes there. I need a spyglass. Oh, it's just the spyglass goes. Sorry. There, it should work now. I bet this is gonna break. Oh no! What I need is some duct tape. Yeah, duct tape. I don't have any. Okay. Well, I cleared out some of my inventory a little bit. So we still need one more gemstone. Um. Let's go talk to Laurie, actually. I think we, have, we might have something to mention. Before you say anything, I just want to say thank you. For what? Mm -hmm. Tino came to see me. He said you'd made him realize what a jerk he'd been for dumping me, and then he asked me out. Isn't that great? He said he doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He thinks we make the perfect couple. Well, good for you. Well, I can't argue with him there. So what do you want? Do you have any duct tape around here? Do you know if there's any duct tape around here? Duct tape? Duct tape. Nope, afraid not. Sorry. I hear Tino took you and John on a trek to Jake's mine. Jake's mine, my eye. We went tramping through the snow, lugging all this equipment John insisted on bringing, and where do we end up? At this teeny tiny, half rotten, tumbled down outhouse. He led you to an outhouse? Well, he said it was the opening to a mine shaft, but then John said if it was, shouldn't the hole be going into the mountain mm -hmm. instead of just down? So they stood there arguing until Tino finally grabbed a shovel, went inside, and started digging. What he found was definitely not gold. What did John say? He called Tino a moron, and a whole lot of other things I'd rather not repeat. Guess I'd better get to work. I'll be waiting. All right, well... I got ask around for some duct tape then. So we need another gemstone, we need another slug. What's going on? So how did your expedition to Jake's mine turn out? Well, this you is how may it sound, or yeah. may not have heard, I didn't find the mine. But at least now I know where it isn't, which is just as good as knowing where it is. Sort of. I mean, it narrows things down, Do I suppose. Do you by any chance have any duct tape? Duct tape? Sure don't. But there was this one case at works where duct tape came in real handy. See, I had just collared this. I'm kind of in a hurry, Mr. Balducci. Oh. Maybe some other time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's so disappointed he couldn't tell the story. <laughs> That's funny. What's up? Would you, by any chance, have any duct tape? Got some right there in my gearbox. That's the good news. The bad news is, I can't open the box. Oh my god. It's an antique lock box that I found in this abandoned monastery I scoped out on my show last year. You can open it with either the key, which I just discovered I forgot to bring with me, or the combination, which you're supposed to be able to figure out just by looking at the box. Fortunately, I didn't put anything critical in there. I've never tried to open it without the key, but if you want that duct tape, go ahead and give it a shot. Thanks, I think I will. If you get okay. it open, the duct tape's all yours. All right, and never... There's an image on each of those buttons. They tell us... Oh, I bet the animals no. should start from the left shore. Okay. It's... Oh, it's, it's the order in which you do things. Okay. It's it's the yeah it's the puzzle where like you can't leave 
Um, you can't leave the cat with the peacock, because the, pe the cat will get the peacock, but you can't leave the wolf with the cat, because the wolf will get the cat. Right. But the wolf won't go for the peacock, presumably. Unless they go for both. Yeah, top metal first. And that's the last one. So at least know that those ones are... That's first and last. Hmm. Okay. Um I think we start with this and then we want to take the cat first. So, um then it's that one. Then you drop the cat off. You come back for uh, the wolf, but you take the cat back with you and leave the wolf there. And then you take the peacock, but leave the cat. Um... Oh, the peacock must be the last one, actually. Hold on. Where are they? Oh, wait. Sorry. Here. Top left. Yeah, you're right. Um, and then... Oh, wait, ho wait, hold on. Take that. Peacock. And then you get, go back for the cat. There we go. Got it. See, luckily it has all the steps laid out for you. So you just need to figure out uh, the right way to go. And the cat's in the cradle. <laughs> All right. Um... There, good as new. Well, sorta. Nothing happened. Hmm. This contraption is obviously powered by something, but what? But what indeed? Okay. Is it the pipes? Hmm. Okay, maybe there's stuff we can't do there yet. I think what I need... Um, let's have a look at that to-do list. If I had some carbide fuel... Yeah, we got that. Finish that. Haven't done that yet. Okay, um... Check. I'm done with that. Figure out how to open the lockbox in Camille's car and take the duct tape. I'm done with yeah. that. Ask around and see if anybody on the train has some duct tape. Yeah. Finish that. I'm done with that. Uh huh. I'm done with that. Uh huh. Finish that. Finish uh -huh. that. Still have Oops, to do that. Hold on. I'm uh, done with that. Finish that. Uh huh. Check. Uh huh. Haven't done that okay. yet. Okay. Finish that. Check. Uh huh. I'm done with that. Done with that. I'm done with that. Finish that. I'm done with that. Just check these off. Do we have? All, we don't have all the gemstones, do we? Haven't done that no. yet. Collect all the items. I've check. collected all them. So that's that. Keep your eyes peeled for more slugs. Okay, there's still we're still need more of them. Open the lock in the sleeping car. We still need to do that. Um, I think the next thing to do <clears throat> uh, is to get some paper and do some rubbings of the... Uh... Why do we get some thin paper? That's the question. What's going on? Thanks for your help. Not a problem.
Sup? Thanks for the chat. Goodbye. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's do a call. We've got some stuff to update Bess with anyway. Bess and George. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? I went inside the crypt where Jake buried his wife, Camille. Was she still there? As far as I know. Did you see her? No, she was kind enough to stay in her coffin. Was it like totally gross and creepy in there? No, it was very peaceful. Almost pleasant. Any idea how she died? Frank told me that he overheard the grandson of Jake's engineer say she died after she fell and hit her head. Did she fall? Or did Jake, you know, give her a little push? The guy who takes care of the cemetery says he can tell from the way he buried her that Jake must have loved Camille a lot. Ah, but did he love her? Or did he just have a guilty conscience? That's the question. No, indeed. How about a hint? You bet. Uh, so... All right. What can you tell me about those pillars Use with all your those psychic powers on them that are in Camille's crypt? You remember how in his letter Jake told his niece that if she went to Camille's yeah, crypt, yeah. maybe some of Camille's goodness would rub off on her? Well, maybe he meant rub, as in rubbings. So hold a thin piece of paper against each pillar, yes, that's rub what it with I... your pencil, and see what shows up. Excellent. You guys but are that's, great. That's... You know. <clears throat> see ya. That is unhelpful. I need to know where I can find some thin paper. I was hoping you might be able to help me with that. Unless I... Maybe it thinks I already have it? I don't know. And that's, that's paper? Uh, paper? More questions? You didn't go on Tino's expedition to Jake's mine? Please. The man barely knows where his head is. If he's the one who finds that mine, I'll eat my laptop. I'll hold you to that. I'll touch bases with you later. Remember, if it's juicy, I want to know about it. Hey, fellas. Hey, how's it going? See you in a bit. Sounds good. Alright, yeah, probably in town. But where? I guess the museum. I'll have a look and see if there's any thin paper I can get. Welcome back. It was fun talking to you. I'll bet it was. Hmm. I'm trying to see if you can spot any now. It doesn't seem like it. Wax paper for the taffy. There Would you we mind go. if I took a piece of wax paper? Guess I could let you have a piece. That's what we need. Wax paper. Let's go. I agree. Right. Okay. Let's get some rubbings. Took the entire roll. I know, right? Eternity. Wisdom. I love this sort of thing in, in games, honestly. Oops. Charity. And purity. Wisdom, charity, purity, eternity. So it goes down and then... Okay. I wasn't sure which direction it would go on. If it was like that way, that way, or it's, it's that way, that way. Okay. Good to know. Ah, oh, something in there. <laughs> right. Wisdom, charity, eternity, purity. Now, if I recall correctly, there's a book here that helps us. Hello, guys. Um, where is that book? Is it on the shelf? I can't remember. There was a book somewhere. And you are not helpful. Um, there was a, I can't remember where it was now. There was something that 
uh, told us what the each one meant. But where did I put it? <clears throat> where was it when I last saw it? Was it in here? You hold on. That's it. That's the one we want. I think that's the one we want anyway. Yep, purity, charity. Is wisdom there? I assume so. Eternity, wisdom. Yep, it's all there. Let's take a picture of this because it's important. Uh, wisdom is owl. So, um, so, <clears throat> hold on, let's have a look at our, uh, wisdom, charity, purity, and eternity. So, owl, dove, Uh, harp, crown, owl, dove, harp, crown, owl, dove, harp, crown. Could someone write that in the chat for me? Because <laughs> uh, then, when we look at this, owl, seven, dove, nine, Harp, three, seven, nine, three, six. Seven, nine, three, six. Where was it? Oh, I was on this side, wasn't it? Seven, nine, three, six. Thank you, everybody. Yeah? No? Did I do that wrong? Now what? Is there something I click? Look at the cover. Oh! It's... Not the quite the uh, the order that you would expect it to be, is it? Okay, so it's top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. Oh, but that's that is seven nine three six, isn't it? Is that not right? That's the same thing. Hold on. And seven nine six three, is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me have a look at my numbers here. Let me look at my notes. Seven nine six three? Okay. Well I'll just I'll try that then. Oh yeah, yeah, that's More okay. Pipes. Ah, I'm not surprised. Here we go. Pipes. I haven't seen you in a moment, have we? Pipe puzzles. Uh huh. Ooh. No, that'll need to be like that. That's the only way that makes sense. Um, hmm.
That should do it. There we go. Okay. That looks good. I'm gonna save. I, have we done all the pipes? Oh, all, all, all pipes done. <clears throat> okay. So now, if I were to do this, for example. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Maybe not. Maybe not. Is there still more I do? I thought I'd done all of them. Is there, is there another like pipe puzzle that I missed somewhere? I like I've connected like three. There's four train cars, isn't there? Maybe there's one here that I haven't done. Huh. Oh, you know what? It's probably behind there, isn't it? That's probably where it is. That's probably where the last puzzle, like pipe puzzle is. But we can't get to that eagle until we have another slug. So, uh, right. Check. Check. Finish. Finish that. Can't check that off yet. Hmm. It says more uh, seeing Camille's crypt. Okay. Need more slugs. Finish that. Okay. okay. Anything on the stairs that I can grab? Aha! A slug! I wonder if that was everything I had to to grab. Still have to do that. Okay. Finish that. Haven't done that yet. There's still more in here. Do I have all the slugs now? Check. I do. I have every slug now. Okay, that's good to know. Um, right. Okay, I've sorted that out. I need to match that shape. I've already done that, though. Okay. P B C U. I feel like I've seen everything in here. Unless there's another bit I need to look at. Haven't done that. Really? Okay, I don't know exactly what you mean. I'm gonna look for hot spots and see if there's anything I've missed. I'm seeming to need to come back later. Maybe, uh, that's probably, uh, So what to do now? Well, we've got that slug. So I guess it's time to solve that. Um, maybe we can look behind the eagle. Presumably that has... I would assume either... E behind the eagle is either like a pipe, another pipe puzzle. Or it's another gemstone. That's what I would guess. But I'm not sure. Okay, so now we should be able to get to two. I don't know. So we'll have one left over, but we need to reach two with this. Oh, there we go. Well, that, that was easy. <laughs> we haven't found anything pertaining to the bell. Blind look. Yeah, I mean, I was just kind of trialing stuff out to see what worked in and I happened to stumble upon the right thing, so. And naturally, we have still more pipes. 
that's precisely what I thought I would find. Okay, this needs to be connecting... I would assume... Okay. That definitely needs to be this way. Oh, like that. Oh, actually, that works better, yeah. Uh-huh. That needs to be like the this, I think, perhaps. Um, ooh. Mm. There, that looks there right. There you go. You can kind of just keep clicking on stuff until you get the the right solution with them. That must, that has to be right. Okay, at this point, this has to be all pipes, right? Sounds like steam from the engine is moving through those pipes now. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now I would assume this means we can pull the uh, the pickaxe lever and then to do all pipe speed run. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly right. <clears throat> oh, what's that? Darn, I must be missing something. Right. Uh huh. That's something, I guess. Can I just put the gemstones on here now? I don't know, I'll leave them somewhere where I need them. Well, we need the last gemstone. Um, destroying stream. What have I missed? Ah, uh, well, I've, I've been doing a lot of puzzle solving. Um, I'm going to call Bess. Not camera. I don't want camera. Uh, I want to. I want to ask about the last gemstone. Call the lesbian. Tell them what to do. Mm-hmm. Hello? Oh, Always a good idea to call hey, omniscient lesbians, How you know? How about a hint? You bet. I still don't have all the gemstones <clears throat> I need. Help. If you head into the dining car, you'll probably see the light. As long as things are looking up, you will. You guys are geniuses. Oh, my God. Tell that to my chemistry teacher. I'll keep you posted. Bye. You serious? It's in the, it's in the dining car? Oh my god, there it is. How did I never see that? Well, that's, that's all the gemstones. I guess that's that. <clears throat> they, are, they really are hidden in plain sight, aren't they? Oops, I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Does it correspond to... Hold on. Do the gemstones correspond to these? Because there's six gemstones. I don't know how it would know. No, it's not. It doesn't correspond to that at all. So there's some something else that's missing here. Oh. I need to find the gemstone. That oh, goes here. okay. We need to put the gemstones in here. Right, 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 right. I see. This is where a gemstone goes. But now we need to figure out which gemstone corresponds to each of these. Okay. Maybe we need to do a bit of reading. Um, let's go with the, the gemstone uh, book and see if you can find out a bit more. Amethyst. It's crystalline quartz that is lilac to deep purple in color. The 
deeper the collar, the more valuable it is. Alright. That doesn't help. Um... <clears throat> Oh, wait, 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 hold on. The, the, the rhyme. The rhyme, rhyme, uh, here. Um, the eye of the tiger is fixed on a star. Zircon in fingers that scar. Talons. Amethyst is in a hand from the deep. It's the, the wave. Citrine, uh, is what the foul mouth shall keep. Foul is spelled with a, with a W, so I think it must be a beak. Um, tourmaline by a soft arm is ensnared. Don't know what that could mean. Peridot, uh, rests at the foot of the, of the mare. That's a hoof. Um, okay. I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick. Just so I can easily reference it. But yeah, it's, it's the rhyme. It's the rhyme. Okay. Oh, we're getting there with this. So, this is, um... Zircon lies in fingers that scar. Pretty sure the one we picked up most recently is Zircon. So, I'm gonna put that there. Star. Eye of the Tiger. Uh, a hoof. Um, that's the Peridot. So our green gem. Oh! Um, a hand from the deep. This must be Amethyst. A beak. Um, that is a... The foul mouth. Citrine. Which means... Uh, this... <clears throat> uh, soft arm ensnared. Must be this. Nothing happened. The jewels oh, must not no, be it's in the not right. right. Place. Okay. I think I must have to swap um, this one and Amethyst. I think. Hold on, let's go back this way. Hey, 23J Cow, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Whoa! There we go. Did something <clears throat> right. Okay, it is looking good. All right, this must be the last thing. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is awesome. Loud, but awesome. Oh man, I love this. We're having a rave? Jake's mine is Brimstone Canyon. Don't you look all excited? What's up? 
I think I know where Jake's mine is. <clears throat> Tell the engineer to head for a place in Nevada called Brimstone Canyon. Way to go. I knew you could do it, Francie. Not Francie, Nancy. <clears throat> Here's the deal. When we get there, I'm going to make sure that you get to be the first one to check out the mine. I'll call everyone together in the dining car, and while we're in there, you slip off the train. Will ten minutes be enough of a head start? That'd be great. Think of it as your reward. Of course, anything you find in the mine is, well, mine. Um, so if sure. I find out that you've okay. taken something without telling me, let's just say things could get ugly. Don't worry, you can trust me. I have the feeling that thanks to you, we are about to discover something huge. Great job, Amy. Uh, thank you. Is this a uh, first play? Have I played this before? I I have not played this before. This is my first playthrough. Um, <clears throat> I'm new to a lot of the Nancy games, actually. I've been playing through them a lot in my spare time. But I decided to stream this one. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me get some water. Fresh meat to the Nancy's. Yeah, I've played through a few of them now. I've played through... I did... The first one I did was Curse of Blackmore Manor on stream. Which is a very difficult one to jump into. Um, but now that I know how Nancy's games work, I kind of see how you, the kind of where I was going on with the thinking of that game. Uh, when I played Secrets Can Kill Remastered, uh, Message in the Haunted Mansion, Treasure in the Royal Tower, Final Scene, and I'm currently working through Secret of the Scarlet Hand in my spare time, so... Uh, yeah, I am very much enjoying them. Sounds like the train's leaving. Where's it going? Well, Frank and Joe will make sure it comes back for me. I hope. Scarlet Hand is an interesting one. I'm really enjoying Scarlet Hand, although there are a couple of puzzles in it which are just absolutely just kicking me down at the moment. I got really stuck. I'm really stuck on the ham radio right now. I'm trying to figure that one out. Um, and I think there's a few events I need to, to do so that Henrik will remember things, which is which is kind of annoying. <laughs> it just left me to die, I know. Uh, doing it old school style in order. Yeah, roughly in order, but I'm jumping ahead with stream games a little bit, just every like every now and then, so... Yeah. Uh, this seems dangerous. I'm gonna save. I know I don't have to save, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, left behind. I can't put a colon in. Oh well, I wanted to make a sad face. All right. Okay. Is it one of those trial and error ones? Yeah. There we go. Oh god. <clears throat> There's something at I'm sitting out the second to the last puzzle of this game that very few players miss, even the, um, even the experienced players misses. If you get stuck, you want to hint, just tell, I'll tell you. Sure. Absolutely. Oh, right. Very few players get. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand, I understand what you meant. Uh, oh, no worries. What's going on here? Jake's color wheel seems to be pointing toward purple. Oh. Wow. Glowing lizards. Cool. But weird. I guess we'll go in the direction of the colors. Oh, wow. So, orange. Ooh. Is that the right way? I guess that's the right way. Okay. Red. Yellow. I'm guessing if you go the wrong way, you die. Um. Uh-oh. There's some kind of chamber on the other side of those poles. Oh. But if I move the wrong <clears throat> one, the ceiling will collapse. Jake was too meticulous not to have left a clue somewhere as to how you're supposed to move them. Right. I see.
Ooh. Can I send it to somebody? I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. I'm not entirely sure about this. Hold on. Let's consult my notes. Also, oh, let's do this. Finish that. Finish that. I'm done with that. Check. Still can't check that off yet. Okay. Check. 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 Okay. Let's have a think about my... If I get this wrong, I can always second chance it, so. I think I made a boo boo. Well. Goodbye, Nancy. Right. <laughs> I think I made a boo boo, Nancy says, as she is crushed by several large boulders. <clears throat> uh, this is the puzzle I was talking about. Try looking around. Okay. doing there okay hold on why does she look like a cactus hold on where was that there's that plank there it is <laughs> Okay, that's another one, the rocking chair. Okay. Another symbol. Is it a no-no, or is it the right one? Oh, why can't I look up here? Guess I'll find out. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's an oh. Oh, hold on. There's another one there. If it has something to do with those symbols I saw before. Okay, so the the J, the rocking chair, and that one are ones I don't think we can press. So this one, 
uh, that one and that one. We, we, we pulled that one before and it was bad. I've seen that symbol before. I think I made a boo-boo. Never mind. I've seen it before. Okay. Try again. Uh-oh. Maybe we need to find some... Let's find some more symbols. So it's not just the bar, but also the order in which you take them. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Well... Uh-oh. No. Okay, okay, okay. So I need to find some more of these and then organize them into an order. Uh-huh. We're fine. That's the way out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to write down the symbols and I'm going to try and order them in my own way. Okay, so we have this one. Mm hmm. The rocking chair. The, the J. <clears throat> right. Ah, uh, hello. So we've got that one. That might be the first one. I can't get through here. Awesome in there. No. I am seeing things. Jake right. must have made those symbols. Oh. The question is, why? <clears throat> okay, this is this is the, the important stuff, right? So, <clears throat> cactus is number one, fire is two, snake is three, um, I don't know what that is, that's, that's four, um, fish is five, and bat is six. We heard a bat. <clears throat> so we know that fish, then, is that one symbol we saw by the fish. Okay, okay, okay. Hydration. Thank you! <clears throat> I apologize for the throat clearing. I have recently recovered from a cold. But there is a small lingering of it. It's like, like, like a fire. So this must be... Is this number two? Yeah. Okay, right. Now, where was each one of these? Okay, 
Okay, I've been writing these down now. We did see a stone cactus in one cave. Yeah, I can't remember where that was now, though. How's that? Um, let's, go back, let's go back the right way and see what we can locate with everything. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's a stone. It's the, that's, that's the symbol I couldn't figure out. Okay. Okay, I've got this. I've got the pictures, but I didn't take pictures of everything. Um, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's have a, look, a close look at the ones down here. So there's six of them, so... Stone cactus might be upstairs. Yeah, I think so, but I'll, I'll narrow it back down um, from this end. So, snake. This one's snake. Snake is the rocking chair. Which means... Is there one or a symbol around here? I can't remember. Okay. Wait, hold on. Is this bat? The J must be bat, I think. And then cactus is um is the other one we saw. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. <clears throat> so, in theory, should be this one. Okay, so far so good. Right. And then we go for fire, which is this one. Then we go for rocking chair, snake, uh, rock, fish, and bat. I should be able to get through there now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jake Hurley, I presume? We found him! Camille. It uh. figures he'd be carrying a picture of her. Hmm, there's something underneath it. This looks like the like the game over screen from the original Fallout. Jake Hurley to... Uh, looks like a letter. April 14th, 1865. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Believe me, Jake, my boy, I can think of nothing more pleasant than touring the, the uh, west aboard your private train. But much as I would like to accept your invitation, the duties and responsibilities of my office forbid it. I cannot leave Washington until this terrible war is over. I wonder who, who's writing this. And the states are united once more. I would scarcely leave my office at all these days. Your humble friend, Abe. Mm-hmm. I would scarcely leave my office at all these days if not for Mary. Tonight, at her insistence, I will be accompanying her to the Ford Theatre to see a comedy called Our American Cousin. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know what happens with that one. Um, have you seen it? Mary assures me that I'll enjoy it, despite the fact that for some strange reason, I've never felt at ease when at the theatre. Yep, perhaps tonight will be di different. Nope. Uh, write to me soon. Your missives never fail to boost my spirits. Your humble friend, Abe. Oh my gosh. This is from Abraham Lincoln. And April 14th is the day he was assassinated. This letter must be worth a fortune. That's just what I thought, too. You can have it, Laurie. See, what I didn't tell you when I gave you that letter Jake wrote to Ruth is that I also found his diary, which is how I found out he'd gotten to be friends with President Lincoln and that he'd gotten a letter from Abe that he knew would be so valuable someday that he always kept it on his person. Can I have it? Sure. See, I knew if we could just find Jake's body, we'd find the letter. And you did it, Amy. You did it. I'm going to be famous. Good famous for once. 
So you never really cared about finding Jake's mine? Nah. I mean, it would have been nice if it was filled with gold and silver and stuff, but this is what I was really after. And you followed me because you didn't trust me? I trusted you to find it. I just didn't trust you to give it to me. And now that you have, you know, I'd really, really be famous if I could say I found this all by myself. But even if I got you to lie for me, how do I know you'd keep lying? Wait. Oh my gosh. What if there was like this cave-in and we were trapped, but I was the only one who made it out? Oh, uh, excuse sorry. me. Oh my gosh, that way I could not only say that I found the letter, but that I tried to save you. Only you did something stupid, and it was all I could do to save myself. Oh my gosh, I'd make the national news for sure, and people would say I was smart and resourceful and courageous even. Lori, you can't be serious. That's crazy. You don't understand. People are finally going to respect me. I have to do this. Sorry. Lori! Lori, no! What would Tino oh, say? I'm blocked. I'm trapped. I'd better get out of here before something else caves in. Well then, uh... Maybe I could get out of here in this. Well, let's go. Donkey Kong! Oh god. Oh no. Uh, uh, this way. Oh Jesus Christ. This way, this way, this way! <laughs> Right, right, right. How big are these mines? Left, 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 left. Okay. Left again. <laughs> this music. <laughs> Jamma Sam all over again, I know, right? <laughs> uh... Oh my goodness. Hit it with the minecart! <laughs> oh god, I thought something else happened to it there for a moment. Lori, are you alright? Nancy, is everything okay? It is now. As soon as we discovered you and Lori weren't on the train, we jumped off and hightailed it back here. What the heck's going on? I'm sure Lori will be glad to tell you all about it. Darn you, Natalie! It's Nancy. Dear Hannah, some host as Lori Gerard Yay! turned out to be. When her father heard that she'd tried to seal me up in that mine, <clears throat> he canceled all her credit cards and said that from now on, Lori will have to support herself. And that's what she you get. to stop crying. Tino Balducci told reporters that he knew what Lori was up to all along and said he let Frank, Joe, and me solve the case so we amateurs could enjoy his oh, limelight. Tino. Joe was just about to belt him when a big argument broke out between John Gray and Charlena over whether John had really recorded Camille's ghost. She started calling him a crackpot, and then he started calling her a hack. Then, well, let's just say that soon the press was no longer interested in what Tino had to say. As for Jake Hurley, it turns out that his letter from Abe Lincoln is worth a small fortune. Pretty ironic, huh? Jake spent his whole life searching for gold, when all along he possessed something far more valuable. His uncanny knack for making friends. Love, Nancy. <laughs> hey, sassy detective! Congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of... Thank you for the... Did it just do something with my computer? Hanging with the Hardys Award for spending maybe a little too much time with Frank and Joe. Hey, what do you mean by that? What did you mean by this? Cheeseburger? Is that what you mean? <laughs> I do agree. Cheeseburger is, is, is cool. Um, 
Have you ever been to Paris, France? Well, preparez-vous, because that's where my next mystery adventure takes place. I'm going to be the assistant to Minette, a famous fashion designer. I'll be working undercover to find out why she's been acting so peculiar lately, throwing tantrums, firing people. She's even started wearing a mask for no apparent reason. Her studio is in this spooky-looking centuries-old moulin. That's French for windmill. Of course, that doesn't have anything to do with her strange behavior. Or does it? Only one way to find out. Help me solve my next case. Danger by design. A la prochaine. Oh, well. <clears throat> Danger by design is very mid-tier for me, personally. I, I kind of... I'm really excited to play Danger by design, though, because I... I, I feel like Paris is such a fun setting for one of these games. Um, do you get to go to the catacombs in it at all? Because uh, Paris catacombs, I feel like, is prime adventure game setting. Mm. <laughs> this music. <laughs> Cartoon chase music. You do go to the catacombs. Oh, that's awesome. I think I might enjoy that one purely because of that. Um, I don't know when the next time I'll stream an Nanta Drew game is, though. I'd like to do, I mean, I'll probably just do them as and when I feel like doing them because they're just enjoyable to play through. I don't think we ever got an answer about the ghost, did we? No, but, but, um, there is the situation with the, 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 the gemstones swirling around created that sort of mystical um, effect. And I think that's, I think it's possibly the explanation is to do with the fact that it's the gemstone. And I think they mentioned that the way the train goes over the tracks kind of creates this light effect as well. Because it hits the gemstones in a certain way. I, th I think that's the explanation. But it's kind of a read between the lines kind of thing. Um, also, 23 thank you for the follow, 23 Jcat. Really, really appreciate it. Like I said, I don't know when uh, I'll do more Nancy Drew, but I do want to do more Nancy Drew, so... Uh, because these games are great. I'm, I'm loving playing through them. This was a really good one as well. Like, getting getting everything together for that machine on the train was so satisfying. Um, I maybe the devs forgot about the ghost. I don't think they forgot. I, I, I think they explained just enough for you to kind of, like, make draw your own conclusions. Um, they don't really, like, um draw a hard line on ghosts and whether or not they're real in the games. They kind of just let you let you believe what you want to believe. Because, like, Message in the Haunted Mansion is kind of the same. Uh, it's like, you find a lot of stuff that suggests that it's it's all faked. But it also kind of lets you think, well, maybe this could be something there. You know. Anyway. Um, yeah, that is that. I, I, ideally, I want to keep my stream going for another, like, 20 or so minutes so I can raid into my friend's stream. So I might just find something else to do in the meantime, but I don't know what that would be. Um, something I can do for 20 minutes. I might just chat with you for 20 minutes. Um, Message in a Haunted Mansion is the one where a lot of people claim to have actual ghosts. Yeah, I, there's the thing that, like, um, where there's some of the, the paintings whisper to you as you walk by them, which is really creepy. Uh, have I played the locomotive demo? I haven't. Hold on. Let me have a look. I'm going to full cam. Uh, is, it, is it still on Steam? Or is it like... I mean, I, 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 I forgot about that game. Um, is that about a 20 minute demo? Because if so, I might just do that. Might as well finish it off with another little... A gig? Wow, okay, that's pretty big for a demo, but... Uh, why not? 